69. Identify the type of crystalline solid, whether it's a metallic, network covalent, ionic, or molecular crystalline solid that's formed by each of the following substances, and then we have K3PO4, which is potassium phosphate. Now, there's four different types of crystalline solids that form when a liquid solidifies into a solid. And I wrote down a little cheat sheet here for you guys to kind of memorize the four different ones, especially if this is going to be on your quiz or exam coming up. So let's just go from left to right and just figure out which one it, which one would be the crystalline solid for K3PO4. Would it be a metallic crystalline solid? Well, the word metal is in the word metallic. And in order to be a metallic crystalline solid, you just have to see a single metal. No nonmetals, just one metal. But I do see that I have K, and on the periodic table, K, which is potassium, is in group one, and that's a metal. And now you have P and oxygen, right? So you have phosphorus, you got oxygen. These are your nonmetals. So it can't be metallic because I have both metals and non-metals. So we move on. Is it ionic? Well, ionic crystalline solids are formed with ionic compounds. And there's two criteria for ionic compounds. It's the metal plus a non-metal. Or if you start seeing polyatomic ions, that's a ionic, ions, ionic crystalline solid. So I do see my metal. And like we just said, you know, we have phosphorus and we have oxygen. Those are nonmetals. So we do have a metal and we have nonmetal. So this is an ionic compound, which would be an ionic crystalline solid. But also know that, hey, doesn't this look familiar? Doesn't PO4 look familiar? It's in such a way that we've seen this kind of ion over and over and over again. PO4... 3 minus is phosphate. And phosphate is a polyatomic ion. Would you look at that? And when you start seeing polyatomic ions, ions, ionic, it's going to be a ionic crystalline solid. And there you go. Let's color it. And call it a video. All right. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for coming here uh, to get help with your chemistry class. Just know we also have physics videos and math videos on the channel. So we could definitely help you out there as well. Um, tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. I think it's pretty cool. What do you think? Uh, thanks for being part of the community. And yeah, just keep rocking on. All right. Always keep learning. I will talk to you in later videos, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.